Good day, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Apartec Innovative. Yeah, we are into renewable energy at large. So today, I will be teaching you how you can design your own DSP inverter at home. This is my own board here. This is my own board here. So this is my printer phone from China. This is my printer board from China. So I'll be taking you through the steps of how to design this yourself at home. So make sure you subscribe, like, and share our content to your friends. Uh, these are the board you will need when designing your DSP inverter board. This is the LCD display board. This is the oscillator board. This is the MOSFET board. This is the MOSFET board. So these are the three board you need while designing the inverter board. The DSP inverter board. So I'll be taking it step by step. So I'll be starting from the oscillator board, which is this. I'll be starting from this. This oscillator board, this is the printed board from China. This is the printed board from China. So this board contains LM324. I'll be telling you all the uses of all these ICs and all the components on the board. This is LM324. This is the DSPIC. This is the TLP250. This is the BUSA. This is the relay. This is TLP21 TLP or BD139. Any more of the two can be used. So I'll be taking you through the steps of all these components. I'll be telling you their uses. The first step while designing this board is to get your PCB. This is the local made PCB. This is my first PCB when I, when I, was, I was starting to design inverter, GSP inverter. This was my first board that I used. It was two board, but this is the last board before I now navigate to this board. So these two boards are the same thing. This is the local PCB. 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 Then this is the printer type. This is the printer type. So these two boards are the same. Even for looking for, from the back, you see that these two boards are the same. You can see they are the same. They are the same. Yes, these two boards are the same. They are the same. So I'll be taking you through the steps of all the components on this board and they are using the upside earlier. So this PCB, the advantage of this printed board is that all the all the num names and numbers of all the component needed is already written on the board as you can see here all the component is written there you can see the detail p250 this it is already written there you can see the buzzer it's already written there you can see it is already written there all the component needed here is already written there it's already written there this is a complete dsp uh inverter slater board this is a complete board now I'll be showing you all the port on this board and I'll be showing you all the ICs and their uses on this board. I'll also be showing you other components on the board. So this is the keypad port here. This is the keypad port here. It has OK up and down. So it is used for calibrating, presetting and switching on and off the inverter. This is the NTC port, also known as the temperature sensor port. Yes, it is used to, to measure the temperature of the MOSFET board. It is used to measure the temperature of the MOSFET board. This is the LCD display port. This is the LCD display port. This is the LCD display port. So, this... This is the LCD display board, so it is being connected to this port. It is being connected to this port. It is being connected to this port. So, the yeah, LCD display port. So, this is the power and the MOSFET, MOSFET board ports. This is the power and the MOSFET board called ports. This is the power and the MOSFET board ports. So this is the fa the fan port. Yeah, the DC fan port. This is the DC fan port. It's used for cooling the system. It's used for cooling the MOSFET board and boots and also the uh, the DSP inverter board. 
So these are the ports on the board. So I'll be going to the ICs on this on this board. Now this is the LM324 IC. This is the DSP30 F2010 IC. This is the three the TL2 P TL P250 IC. They are four in number. This is LM393 IC. So this LM324 IC it controls it measures the AC in, AC out, DC in, and lots more. Anything relating to voltage on this board, it is work of this LM324 to do that. So from this, uh, this LM324 now, is also used for other protection, the purpose, other protection purposes like short circuits, like uh, anything about no feedback, complain. Uh, this IC here. Yeah, Serve that purpose. Serve that purpose. The DSP IC. This is the this is the the brain of the uh, the inverter. It is a twenty eight pin IC. It is a twenty eight pin IC. So this is the crystal oscillator here. The name of the crystal oscillator is six point one four megahertz. The name of the crystal oscillator is six point one four megahertz. The name of the ceramic capacitor here is. It's 15 picofarad. The name of the ceramic capacitor is 15 picofarad. So, this is our DC in parts. These are DC in parts. These are DC in parts. This is the ground and the positive. So, the voltage comes from here. It comes from here. After coming from here, this is a choke resistor. The choke resistor limits the current. Then this is a, this is a a, power, a positive regulator sent to F. In a situation where you are designing an inverter that is more than 12 volts, you need a you need a 7812 here. Then if, if, if you don't want to use a 7812, you can use a bulk converter, a DC to DC bulk converter that will give you 12 volts directly to the board. So from here, it comes here. So this is the filtering capacitor, the electricity filtering capacitor here. What it does is to filter the DC voltage coming from the MOSFET board. So this is 7805. So this board mainly works on 5 volts. It works on 5 volts. So there are part of this board that work on 5 volts. There are part of this board that work on 12 volts. But the DC voltage to all these IC is 5 volts. So from here, it is, it is now connected to the DSP IC. It's connected to the DSP IC. So these are current sensor ports here. These are current sensor ports here. This is our 30 amps relay port here. This is our electricity capacitor. The our ceramic capacitor here. It is a ceramic capacitor, not an electricity capacitor. So it's also used for filtering. Yeah, it is here. So what well, what I've said here, this is it here. This is it here. This is it. This is the 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 relay as I said earlier. This is the ceramic capacitor I've said earlier. This is the coin sensor I've said earlier. This is the coin sensor I've said earlier. And these are other ports here. Yeah. These ports, we have one for output, transformer life, load, and lots more. We'll be discussing everything on this, but we'll be discussing everything. When we get to the output stage, we'll be discussing that. So, this is a short note. This is a short video, like a video on how the, the component on the board. So, I'll be using, I'll be using this as a to also talk about the DSP. The DSP, the DSP LC display. Yeah, I'll be talking about that one also. Now, this this is a local mid board, but I have the imported. I have the imported. This is the imported board here. Yeah. This is the imported board here. Yeah. So I'll be using this this local PCB board as a case study. So the ICA is CD fourteen fifteen. So this CD fourteen fifteen. Now we discovered that this I this uh this LCD is having sixteen. Pins. Then we've almost exhausted all the pins of the board, so we need a CD. We need a, a, a this IC called CD4015 to help us reduce the the ports of this LCD display. So as it is here now, we are having the ports here. You can see the port is not much. It's not even up to six. One. Two, yes, this is just four. This is just four. This is four. This is four. So it comprises of four pins. From the 
um, the forty, the CD forty fifteen, and the positive and negative. So I've discussed about the board. I've discussed about the MOSFETs, the the LCD display board also, I've discussed about these two, I've discussed about these two. 